Alright, there should be treasure coming up. Where even am I? I lost where I was. More land slugs. Joy oh joy. I think this is also a good opportunity for a Howl Slash, honestly. Since we're surrounded. Oh, zero damage for my girl. It's that easy. How dare you hit my girl? After I just got explaining that Fina is my girl. Cool, win level up. Let's win, like level 13. I think we need two more level ups and we get Fire Whip. Not, no, not Fire Whip, Zap Whip. I mean, we might need Whips level up, but uh, we have the magic prerequisites after, um, after we get two win level ups. Because after that, it's just getting her whip level up, and then we have a uh, zap whip. All right, we won. Also, as I said many times, Fina is the mage, and also Fina gets really high level spells from the plot. So we want to always be focusing on magic. Plus, it's the most efficient thing to use for her. This is treasure six, a blizzard charm. Okay. Am I in? Yeah, this is treasure six. All right. I got a little confused what treasure this was. Your boy is getting ambushed, ambushed so much. Ow. Uh, wrap, wrap, wrap. Oh, I can, uh, I'm not going to uh, discolor, but I basically have my SP back for discolor for a turn. Any battle that a discolor will work, I now have it. Everyone just attack for this turn. These enemies are spread out. Ooh, a dagger level up. Oh, did I say sword? I said we were focusing on sword. We have to focus on sword and knife for rap. It doesn't matter which, they both need to be higher leveled. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Sword and knives are both priority for rap, but I think I forgot we're doing dagger right now. Alright, now. How dare you catch me? Now we just gotta find treasure 7 and 8 and we'll go pick up some money because it's money. Can't ignore it. I did not need to use Zap Ball. That was my mistake. Whatever. The whip does so much damage to the moth. Oh wow, Zap Ball is so overkill. A complete victory. Drudging along. How dare you ambush me? Stop it. I can't even be mad. I love the ambush track. Getting ambush in Grandia is fun because I love the track that played. The two tracks that play during ambush are great. This one's basically the same as the normal one, but it's better in every way. These guys are all spread out, which means I think a burn flare with Justin is necessary. Yes, we do have rap. Also, Hippie, welcome to stream. Rap is here, that's right. I like rap. I actually found myself liking rap more when I replayed the game. I think I played the game the first time, I wasn't a huge fan of rap. But then when I started replaying the game... When I started replaying the game, rap really grew on me. I'm not saying like rap was the worst character when I first played, but I definitely didn't care for him. You know, Play playing the game multiple times has taught me that rap is pretty cool. Not perfect, but he's pretty cool. I still like Sue a lot more, though. You reached the Misty Forest in your playthrough? Oh, you did you just do the train thing with the Garlow forces? Because there's two, there's two port parts of the Misty Forest. I'm assuming you just reached the Misty Forest, which means you just got away from Garlisle. So I'm assuming you just did the train thing, where you escaped, uh, where you stole the train and escaped Nanasaki and Mio. That's what it sounds like, because by reaching the Misty Forest...
She was a great party member. She was one of my favorites. What do I want to do here? I think wind, because I want to focus on getting the Zap Whip's prerequisites. Oh, wind, twist like a tornado. Sue is, uh, yeah, Sue, Sue's great. I like Sue a good deal. I say, no, a good deal? I, I love Sue. The worst thing about this game is that she leaves, honestly. It's the only, it's like one of the only major flaws I can think of. You did the train, then the sap thing in the village. Oh, so you, um... So you, um, you did the stuff in Luck Village, then. The honey nectar, the nectar of the gods. So you're about to hit the end of the world, basically. You're almost on the end of the world, and then you're gonna meet, uh, another party member. Basically. Because Misty Forest has the east and the west side. So, you know, saying Misty Forest is, uh, you know. Actually, I did not want to come here. I wanted to get more treasure. You have beat the game? Oh, then I'll be spoilery if you beat the game. But, uh, you'll, you'll get Gabwin once you pass the end of the world. Just, this is it. The tower's on the other side of this. Let's go, Justin. Okay, everyone ready? We'll destroy that cursed tower with our own hands. Yeah, give me one second. Over here, cross over there. No, please, I need to... <laughs> I need to get my treasure. Oh, maybe we do this, and then from the Tower of Doom, we can come back here. I hope. Look, that's the Tower of the Guys who turned the forest to stone. That... That's a military building. Oh, you best believe the Garlisle forces are waiting for us. Okay, perfect. I want to go back to Petrified Forest. Thank you. Oh, treasure. Cookies. Who cares? Goodbye. Uh, we're missing treasure seven, which is all the way in the top left corner. Oh, you're playing the game for the first time in ages. So you have played the game. You just haven't played in a while. In that case, I, uh, will be direct. Because now I know you've played the game. Plus, I already passed Gablin, so even if someone's watching the playthrough and I- and they haven't played the game, like, I passed- I passed the end of the world, so I'm obviously talking about something I passed in the playthrough, so that's not held against me. It's held against me- it's held against me if I spoil something later on in the game, mostly because there could be new people watching, but I passed Gabwin already, so. You know, they shouldn't be watching my streams if they don't want to be spoiled. Trying to find... Oh, uh, this last treasure we need. Oh, this is an alligator. We want to fight this thing. These guys give a lot of XP. The other ones were money, I think. These guys are good for XP, if I remember correctly. I don't know what you guys are weak to. We're just going to try some stuff. Here goes! Alright, that's that's definitely not what you're weak to. Uh, Probably not fire. Maybe howl slash? I don't remember your resistances. Oh, twist like a tornado. Oh, you beat it once when you were 15. I beat this game like so many times. It's probably, it's why it's my favorite game. I wouldn't have an answer. All my favorite games I beat multiple times. Well, except FF7R because that's a new game. But, um, even then I beat FF7R like two times already. Am I getting a follow? Yeah, Hippie, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, even FF7R in the year or two, it's in the year it's been released, I beat it twice. I don't know what you guys are weak to. We're just gonna try some stuff though, as I said already. Oh, Earth awaken. Grace's F I beat so many times too. Probably about the same as this game. Alright, Earth does good damage, so I guess we'll use Earth. Will Dagger attacks do anything? No, they will not. Yeah, 
at these guys. Not the Paratail. That's annoying. Take this. Luckily, I think I'm going to hit all of them because he moved. No, I'm only going to hit two. That's fine. One of them might die. Also, Justin being paralyzed is very bad. Oh, an Earth level up. And I got a cancel. Theoretically, I should heal, but I think we're going to be... Oh, Justin died. Yeah, I definitely should have healed. That's fine. I don't have any resurrect potions, right? Just do this. Heal myself. So we don't wipe out here. Good news is we're getting lots of earth XP for my girl. Oh, I killed both of them. Alright, now we're good. I'm hoping Fina has a resurrect potion. She should. I know Justin has resurrect potions. Okay, yes, I have one exactly. This will not hit you. I forgot how hard these alligators can be, but now we know they're weak to earth. So, we have better ways of beating them. Oh, I paralyzed it somehow. This calls for another tremor because they don't get hit by weapon attacks. Oh, you're dead. Awaken. So yeah, you remember the uh, chameleons, if you remember chat, or people watching on YouTube, that um, the chameleons gave us lots of money. These guys give more XP, or the XP grinding tool. So it is very good. Everyone okay? I honestly don't feel like grinding XP, but it's there. Yeah, look at that XP. 1200 XP. Like, that's so much XP. Like, we cannot get that much XP anywhere else. Like, that's the most XP we've ever gotten from an encounter in a long shot. I feel like the late game only gives you, like... The late game gives you that much XP. I think. Maybe not even that much. The late game gives you, like, anywhere from 800 to 1,000 XP. So, this is possibly the best grinding grinding way in the game. This is, like, the best way to grind, I think. IMO. Take this. But, however, you are limited on backtracking. So, if you can't come back here at the end... So if you go too late in the story and you can't go back, then you're going to have to grind a different way. I honestly don't see the need to level grind, in my opinion, but it's there. At least not excessively. We've been fighting a lot in this playthrough, so I think we're good. If anything, money grinding more, but wet XP, not too much. But hey, the option's there. For anyone who likes grinding. Or not really likes grinding, but wants to grind. Alright, Rap, have you level up your dagger a bit? Yeah, I've also done the odd, uh, the water XP thing. Get hit by environments and stuff, and get hit by traps, and just just heal up with water and then recover. I've done that a few times. That's like the best way to level up water. Because when you don't have snooze, water is really hard to level up. Water is only more manageable when you get snooze, because snooze can hit all the enemies. Even then, snooze is... A lot of enemies don't get hit by snooze, so even then, the snooze does help quite a bit. But when you just have heal for water, it's very annoying to grind. Or just level it up in battle, so I just do the other thing. I got ambushed on purpose there. I believe you're talking about Dom Ruins. There was no location in this game called Lum. I think it's- I think you're referring to Dom Ruins. That's where you could start doing it, yeah. Yeah, Dom Ruins is the first area that has access to that. Gotta wait till this defend ends, because apparently you can't end it. Bum, bum, there we go. Get him, Fina. Para whip. 
I wonder where my whip level's at. Kind of curious. I canceled with a regular attack. That's really shocking. All right, we won. I'm about to take a look at my whip level. Oh wow, we're only getting like eight XP for whip. I feel like the whip is leveling up so slow. It's the level scaling. This game has the weapon scaling system where the higher it gets in accordance to where you are in the game, the harder it is to level up. That might be happening right now. Ooh, defense seed. Give this to Rap. Alright, now we're good. We got everything here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna actually go back to town first because I'm gonna use the mana egg on Rap and I got caught again. But yeah, we're probably gonna like start working on elements again. But yeah, whip is like not even leveling up anymore, probably because it's like level 22. I mean, it's only getting like four XP per hit. So we'll keep her on whip just for the sake of it, because not the knife is also high leveled. So we'll keep her on whip. But we're probably gonna focus more on elemental oh, spells. Because, like, wind could be leveling up a lot faster. And wind is probably the next thing we can get. Leveled up high. Yeah, I like weapon scaling, too. Because I I, I think... I like weapon scaling because if, if, a, if a game doesn't have weapon scaling, it just gets really easy to uh, overpower. So, I definitely think weapon scaling is a pretty neat idea. I got something. Oh, I got another swallow hat. I already have all swallow hats, so we're probably going to sell that. Alright, we're going to hit up the tower. Not We're not hitting up the Tower of Doom right right now, but we're basically... I want to fight these guys again, actually. I'm not going to grind these guys or anything, but I'm definitely going to fight these guys again. We have to take advantage because we can't come back here. Like, if I get too far, there's going to be a chance I can't come back here. So, we're taking advantage is smart. Are you guys weak to fire? I'm going to try a burn and see how that works. It might just be Earth. But you're out of tremors, so that's a problem. Crackle might do good. It's it's Oh, Crackle's not even half Earth. Never mind. Oh, fire also works. We don't need Earth. How much is Crackle gonna do? Oh wow, Crackle does a lot. In that case, Crackle this one. See my power. All right, we're learning slowly but surely. Her weaknesses and a lot resistances. All right, that did a lot. Justin's magic isn't as high as Fina's. Not the Paratail again. Oh, she's dead. Goodbye. Pretty sure Justin has a lot of Resurrect Potions. All we have is Burn. Get this thing out of here. If it Paratails me, that would suck. Paratail is very dangerous. There it is again. How much Resurrect Potions do I have with Justin? I feel like I might have stashed stuff. Some of them are stashed. Use this on her. These guys are more dangerous than I give them credit for. So if you are going to grind them, be ready. They are pretty dangerous. And you do need lots of MP. Good boom. Is that going to hit everything? No, it's only going to hit one enemy. In this instance, probably only one. Actually, wait, Fina, I have something for you to do. Might as well give Rap a heal and get some chip water XP. Because why not? Now you'll be okay. I'm shocked I actually hit both of them. I didn't think it will, or would. This one should die from a regular burn. And for you, 
I'm gonna do burn on you. Here goes! Ha! All right, magic is definitely the way to go with these guys. A triple burn, except not consecutively. Everyone okay? I feel like they always come in groups of four too. Yeah, so 1200 XP is gonna be every time, which is very good though. I'm not gonna take the time to do it because I don't care enough to grind. I've never really felt the need to grind in this game. We fought two of them. We fought two two groups of them. I think that's good. I'm glad we found them for the playthrough. I'm glad I got that. Like, I'm, I'm glad we fought them at least more than once. We fought them twice. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back here, like, before heading on to, like, the next area. And then we'll fight them again, maybe. We will see what happens. 